my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Outdoors. Holy moly. I'll tell you what, Paige, this is a nice bird. And I'll tell you, this is the first turkey that you've ever shot, huh? Can you tell us a little bit about it? Did you get it right away in the morning? Did you have to sit a while, or what happened? We got out there, heard them gobbling, huh? About 300 yards away. 300 yards, holy cats. Who was doing the calling? Your dad was doing the calling, huh? Well, apparently he's a pretty good caller to call that bird in from 300 yards away. Zach's first bird. Um, yeah, we had about six toms total out in the field in front of us, and we finally ended up taking the jig because he, he gave us the shot. So that's how it works. A lot of birds, exciting morning. The weather was perfect. Zach made a good shot. So plenty of hens to go around, too. It was, it was a busy morning, and everything was singing out. The toms were gobbling, and the hens were clucked in. And it's an exciting morning. Well, Ella, congratulations on this bird. I'll tell you, this is absolutely a giant turkey. And can you tell us a little bit about the hunt? And this is your first time turkey hunting, right? Yep. Okay. So while we were heading out, uh, we kind of saw a few turkeys. And while we were heading out to go find them, yeah. we came to the bend. And we were waiting for a little bit. We, saw, we heard a whole bunch of birds, saw them flying down. We were calling to them, they were calling back. Wow, you had a hot spot there, huh? Yes, and um, while we were doing that, um, the hen came in and my dad spotted it. And okay. he told me, come come look, and um, my mentor pointed it out. So, Who was your mentor? Um, <laughs> Mr. Scott? Mr. Mr. Dorm. Okay, Mr. Dorm. Oh, okay, yep. He must be a pretty good caller, huh? He did the calling and he was my mentor. Okay, okay. So, um, while we were uh, doing it, um, so we were waiting for it, it was kind of turning around, it was in strut and everything, and it finally turned around and I saw the head and I shot. One shot? One shot. How far do you think that bird was when you shot at it? It, it just flopped over. That was it, huh? That was it. It kind of put up a fight. It sprayed mud all over me. <laughs> over you? Yes, over me. And wow. It, it just it was flopping all over the place. Feathers were missing, and it was going crazy. That is absolutely awesome. Hey, I heard uh, rumors are that you shot a big buck for the youth hunt, too. So you're on a, quite the roll, huh? Yes, 15-pointer, 193. 193? Yes. Inches or pounds? Inches. Oh my, are you kidding me? Nope. I have never even it. shot a buck even close to that. It was my first time deer hunting too. Wow, are you going to keep deer hunting? Because how are you going to ever yes. shoot anything bigger than that? Right? I don't know. Right? Wow, 193 inches. Yep. That is absolutely incredible. Our brother Brian uh, was killed in a car accident a few years ago and <clears throat> Every year we have a fundraising event in the form of uh, uh, some golfing, 
some uh, dinner and raffle items, and uh, we raise money to donate out to programs for um, that basically that get kids and, and people who wouldn't have the opportunity to get them outdoors and do the things that my brother really loved to do. He was a big outdoors uh, hunting and fishing person, and turkey hunting was one of his passions. So um, we always are happy to uh, sponsor and, and give money to Tom's and come out. And uh, it's great to see so many young faces out here. We hope that um, you know we're developing lifelong hunters through the program. And I know I've been here a couple times and I recognize some of the faces already. So uh, it's good to see everybody coming back. So uh, congratulations to everybody who got a bird and uh, good luck to those who are still going back out. Hey, I'll tell you what, Julie, Tom, you know what? You guys are huge supporters of Wings Over Wisconsin, and I'll tell you, you're, you guys really believe in these youth hunts. We got to come out here last fall for the youth dunk, dunk hunt, and uh, today we're uh, doing a little youth turkey hunting. Why don't you tell us a little bit and why you guys like to support this organization? Her and I both have a passion for hunting, and to see kids have an opportunity to do it, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Just to see the joy and smiles in oh, their faces man. when they come in in the morning, how excited they are to go out there and, and actually have the opportunity to, to hunt. You know, and the unique part about this is that a lot of people don't have the land to be able to hunt on. So that's the whole part about this and the experience. And, you know, when it comes to turkeys, ducks, any kind of hunting, you know, you guys are, have the mentors that are taking these yeah. kids out and, and doing it the right way so the chances of them being successful are pretty good as we could see today we've got mentors now that were some of our hunters first wow yeah, yeah that's 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 pretty cool yeah. how long have you guys been in business here my whole life i've lived in this building but i've sold <laughs> things out of here since 78. Well, Tom's um, parents, this was a grocery store. Okay. And then he lived here, and then in 75 we were married, and in 78 we added guns, so we were guns and groceries. Wow. And it was a uh, it was a good thing. We had a lot of men, uh, hunters, that came in and did all the grocery shopping. And then in 2000, we put it all to guns. Okay. And um, it's been a great success. We have a lot of big um, stores that we're against, um, you know, big box stores. But we have very, very good customers that come from distances and have that little more personal touch, I guess. Right. And, and when it comes to the youth and learn hunt, I have a child from Racine here today. We have children from all around the areas that just keep hearing about the hunt. And oh, last year, Missouri. Yeah, one year we had a, a girl from Germany. Wow, um, that's very that, unique. That the DNR allowed to hunt, and she's never experienced anything like this. And and um, it's just wonderful. And I started in January sending out emails to people, and, and then we have um, there's a lot of uh, hunter safeties around that will mention our program. Sure. And so um, I this young man that just left here, they called me on Tuesday and said we heard about your hunt. I said you know what, I'll get you in. We have um, some children with special needs sometimes that have come, and um, we today. have wonder today. And he got his first turkey. I that was awesome, boy! The smile on his so face that was that was very yeah, cool. His was so excited. And then we do um, drawings for guns, and and he also won a gun, so it was a pretty good right. day for him. But. Um, the mentors, uh, the land, Tom talks the hunting with all of the people. I talk more of the, you know, you have to make sure to respect the landowners. You right. Have to re, you know, make sure you give your mentors hugs, they love that. And you have to make <laughs> sure that you send thank yous to everybody because without our donors, our mentors, and our landowners, uh, we couldn't do this program. Last year we had 83 hunters. Uh, this year we only had 72 because of Easter weekend. Right. That it fell it's still on. pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's still yeah. exhausting because that's 72 hunters. Then you have to put mentors with each one of them. Match them up. And as you know, a learn to hunt has to be one on one. Right. And then you have to match them to land. So it's a, it's like a big puzzle that comes together. But the reward today when you see everybody out on our lawn eating lunch and. And I'll tell you what, it, it was very interesting to see all the birds hanging up there too. And this, you know, when you looked around, all the kids and the parents and in, in the in the mentors in there, everybody with a big smile on their face. You know, that's what it's all about: is the next generation trying to get them hooked in the outdoors. And you know, we're a firm believer in that. And I, no doubt that you guys yeah. have done the, uh, the same thing. Believe in trying to get more kids and people involved in the outdoors, and we thank you for that. So, Tom, thank you. You, you know, we'll see you this fall, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> Yep, and keep up the good work. It's, it's a great, great day to be alive. alive.
The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass, too, and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts, because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. What kind of adventure are we on now? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We are heading down to Warsaw, Missouri to do some paddle fishing. And we left at about 7 o'clock and we'll get down there at about 5.30. So it gives us about a half hour to sleep. And uh, you know what? The life of a host of a TV show isn't always as glamorous as people think it is. It's a good gig, but you got to sacrifice some sleep once in a while. And, we're definitely on uh, one of them expeditions that we're going to be sacrificing a lot of sleep because I guided all day yesterday and uh, we jumped in the truck when I got home and away we are going to Missouri and to do some paddle fishing and then guess what? We're going to turn back around and be out on Lake Michigan tomorrow morning. So it's going to be one of them crazy weeks and then from there I'm going to turn around and heading to Minnesota to grab my warrior finally so stay tuned let's see what happens today on Larry Smith Outdoors fishing paddle fish in Missouri hey are you ever gonna get that thing fixed or what are you talking about what do you mean what am I talking about my truck yeah if I could ever find a good graphics company in Wisconsin I'm not really quite sure if there is a good graphics company in Wisconsin you know what if anybody knows of a great company that wraps vehicles in Wisconsin let me know, because I certainly cannot find one myself. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today we're on a real adventure. We drove all night down to Missouri and we're fishing the Osage River for what? for spoonbills. Never before have I ever caught a spoonbill, never seen a spoonbill before, except for on YouTube. And I'll tell you what, I am definitely pumped up to do this today. We've got a group of really good guys here from Missouri, and I'll tell you what, I'm calling it Team Spoonbill. We'll introduce you to everybody later on as soon as they catch a fish or get one on. So stay tuned, let's see what happens this week here down in Missouri. How do you rig for snagging these paddlefish? You're, run, you're gonna run three hooks, right? Yeah, we run three hooks. Okay. And you go about the length of about your elbow up to the tip of your uh, your finger there. And you just put it in there. You start from the top. Okay. And then you wrap it around. How heavy a weight are we using, too? Uh, this is a 12. 12 ounce? I was telling Chris we usually use 10 or 12 ounces. Okay. So this is a 12. 
sure won't want somebody casting that at me. So, uh, well, this give is... you a headache. <laughs> yeah. Right? Oh, man! Right. This is like a marlin! I got one! Yeah. My first time ever paddlefish fishing, and I got one. Holy man. You know what? This is a musky rod, boys. And this feels like about an 80 pound musky. Holy man. Woo! Kyle, you need me to do anything? Ah, just get him. And get over in here. Stay Kyle Hold Gaffey. On. Holy man. How big is this thing? Well, we're gonna find out here in just a second. Where you got him at? Oh, man. He's fighting like a devil. Oh, there you got oh, him with a tail. Oh, he's a monster. <laughs> I'm losing. Hang on. All right, Gap Guy. Oh, my guy. God, you guys. <laughs> this is unbelievable. All right, Gap Guy. <laughs> this thing's a monster. Is it a shark? Get him. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. Look at this thing. Gap Holy him. moly. Gap him good. Oh my yeah. god! Woo! Thanks, you guys! Wow! Good one, guys! Holy <laughs> You got him in the tail. That's the best Woo. spot for a good fight. Holy cat! This is. Oh! Well worth guiding all day yesterday, no sleep, 10 hour drive to get here. Oh, Woo. look at that. Look at that. Oh my, wow. Oh, how big is it? I don't know, probably. I'm gonna guess 55, 60, baby. Wow. Yeah. Can they get bigger than that? That's, oh, look yeah. at that thing. Yeah, that's a good 60, 65. Oh, Holy it's a good moly. 60. Guys, this is absolutely, this is incredible. I'm telling you, honestly, you can't make this stuff up. Wow, that was absolutely, he, um, I mean, that rod almost came right out of my hand. Holy moly. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. You're going to be able to hold them? I got to put my hand in. Cool. All right, so it took 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I was five minutes off. Oh. Look at that. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. First paddlefish. I'm 50 years old, and I got my first paddlefish. This is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. What a beautiful fish. And I'll tell you something. You know what? I thank you guys. If I don't catch another one for the rest of the day, boy, I'll tell you, this was well worth the drive down here. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all-new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Foam by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Foam will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar. 
For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Good job. Woo! Yeah! I can't believe I got another one. How can this happen? There. Murray Smith is a snagger. You might, raise that, you might raise that fast idle up a little bit, that lever. It's totally different rods. Yeah, it is. Years it just doesn't feel like Oh, it's a fish. There he is. All right. Oh, oh, there he's he's now. Woo I can't believe this! I can't believe this! Where is he? I can't believe it. Oh! I can't believe I got another one! This is crazy! Oh, oh there he is! Yeah. Oh. What are you talking about? Oh what my gosh! Woo! <laughs> I can't believe I got two! <laughs> Holy cats! This is absolutely crazy! Now guess what? I'm the driver of this vessel. You're the snagger. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe I got two. That is absolutely so cool. I'll tell you that. He's catching, he's been tagged. Wow, that is so cool. Whew, I'm shocked. I'll drive the boat and clean the boat. Not a problem, guys. <laughs> I'm tagged out. So, you know, I believe in helping. So, you know what? I cleaned up all the mess that I made in the boat. Now I'm driving. It's all clean. Right, I've got it all cleaned up. See, we're team paddlefish here. It's at, actually team burger smokehouse today. So, and I'm tagged out. Hey, I'm gonna put a shout out to Matt Gardner at the last resort. Yeah. Okay. He's the one that's kind of sh showed me aerial views of, of this place right around here to go. Awesome job. Thanks, Matt. Matt. Thank you. Matt Gardner, thank you. What's going on? Your line is limp. Your line's limp. Light, don't lose. Tight, tight, Keep tight, reeling, tight. keep reeling. Fast, fast, fast. Fire drill. Woo! I love fire drills. Oh, look at the size of them! Oh my gosh, look at the size of that fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Austin! All right, Austin! Woo! Austin, <laughs> nice <laughs> job! Wow! We don't have to measure him. Right. Hey, I'll tell you what, what a great day we had. And that was so cool because you know what? It was massive chaos there. The reel got a backlash in it and the fish still stayed on there. So boy, I'll tell you, that is absolutely something. It's hard to hang on to them yeah, things. He, he Hey, Steve Schaefer, Shotgun Chef, wearing some new attire at the Midwest Shooter Supply, home of your hunting needs, mwshooters.com to get a hold of all your supplies, hunting, fishing, anything, shotgun shells, you name it. I am making wild goose today with some of our new mesquite barbecue seasoning. All this stuff's going to be ready to go real soon. Uh, you can order it online. Dan's going to put it up. The caveman's going to put it up and buy on the screen how you get a hold of it. And uh, I have my lodge cast iron pan here going. I have chopped up mushrooms, onions. They're all with uh, salt, pepper, a little garlic in there. All right, my frying pan's smoking out. Here's the deal. I got it all cubed up, seasoned already. You want to get it on or see how it's smoking? You want to put it on fast. And it's only gonna be a couple seconds on each side. I marinated, I put the seasoning on last night. So it's been about uh, 10 hours sitting in there. See how my fingers are turning red? Beautiful stuff. You guys can smell that mesquite right now, it's awesome. As soon as they break loose, you can flip them. See that crust on them, guys? See that little crust? The lodge people, look at that, I'm way away from everything. 
The shotgun's not gonna get burnt today. Mushroom, onion on the bottom. A little bit of meat. Those things are jumping out, you don't wanna be eating today. Plate one more. Have you ever had goose before? Uh, I just made jerky with my goose. Do you? What's yeah. your name? Ken. Ken? Steve Schaefer. Here, try this bad boy. Now, if you're gonna make a face you don't like it, turn away from the camera, all right, Ken? Got it. <laughs> Mesquite barbecue, Larry Smith Outdoors. Can you taste the mesquite in there? Doesn't taste like a goose. <laughs> no good, eh? Yeah, it's good. Good. Proust in the pudding, folks. Mesquite barbecue. Goose. King's Hawaiian. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Thank you. Buy some guns. I bought some fishing equipment. Oh, yeah, what nice. Kind of you might, yeah. Where are you going? Walleye fishing? Yeah. Nice. Good. Thanks cool. for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. Kalen's has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can no, you? To our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. That's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. What an unbelievable experience we had today. I want to thank everybody for having us down here from Burger Smokehouse. And I'll tell you what a place to come in Missouri. Some absolutely awesome fishing. And I want to thank again you guys for helping us out here today. And just remember, like I always say, what a great day to be alive. I think it's a lot of work, but it's well worth it. <laughs>